dude, Sean, man, dude, dude, man, Sean, dude, man, guy, man, dude, Sean. Sequel 3, oh, sexy sequel 3. Look how sexy it is. The one is loading up. Okay, here we go. So I uh, got an empty new blank track thing here. Double click on the track area. Right here. This is to get your amps, right? We're talking about amps. So we're saying we're going to use, um, we are going to uh, record an audio with an input, right? And let's just make it simple. We're going to do a guitar, and we're going to, just to get something to start off with here, we'll select, um, where's the guitar? Right there. A guitar plucked, it says there. And then right over here, we'll select 70s Funky Phaser. Let's just double click that. And then that'll add a new track right there, right? Select the track. Don't forget, you're going to want to record there, right? Or plug in and hear what you're playing whatnot. So we're going to be recording. And um, then you also select uh, your track, or I mean your input. We've got two inputs on your uh, a uh, your surface thing of a jig. Okay, so then uh, you select which one, whatever your guitar is inputted to, right? So you got one or two, right? I think mine's CL1 from my guitar, my mic is on the other. Right, so now we have this 70 Funkies Phaser, see, right? Now, so when you select this, and you see there's nothing down here, right? But if you select down here the track, what do they call it down here? Uh, what's it called? Track inspector page, right? That's what that little icon says there. Select that. Then I don't know why they don't automatically pop up the, the settings, like the amps and stuff that are being used or whatever effects, but they're here. All right, so now you've got FX insert one, you've got two, three, you get an equalizer, and your send FX, and send FX two, right? Okay, so then you go over here, so the amp would have been applied to logically insert FX1 and then here they go here you go here's the amp thing and see this this will always bring up the set like the simulator like the amp or is it a pedal or if it's an effect or whatever is these little four arrows here open close plug in window so they're calling it a plug in and here's your amp oh amplifier and they got it at clean let's see what we got what do we got here yeah, I can hear something oh yeah funky phaser Funky phaser. And then let's see. So now we can change that, you change the cabinet, which would be like your speaker sounds. All right? Cabinet six. Subtle difference there. And then let's see, it's got a clean sound, right? Fuck that. Let's go for a uh, modern like distortion. It's got a sound. So there you go. So now, then they have the presets in here. You can either use this little square over here. See? And you can load the presets from there, which will pop open a window like that. And then you can have, they have like, I guess, Angus Young's guitar, ACDC. Got his setting. And who else do they got in here? Load the presets. Uh, bass amp California broken transistor radio. Oh, that's hot. Uh, not like much. And then you can also access those, those same things here, the presets here. And you can switch it on and off. Now, going back to here, here's how you're deciding which kind of amps and stuff. So, this is obviously a wide selection for this type of amp simulator, two amp. And you can just select down here in your amp simulator, you're going to select the amp simulators are in distortion in this case here, right? So I've got this amp simulator. You can just go distortion and then see it hides that. I don't know why. It just automatically pop them up, not automatically hide them. And then you go back to your little four arrow thingy. The jig there and that'll pop up. I guess like, you know, little pedal effects, like if you had a little pedal. Right? And then you can also go to, we'll have presets there. What do they got there? 90s old school techno. That sounds pretty well. Alternative bass. And so, you know, you can record the track and come back here after and then change these. 
listen to the different sounds after it's been recorded. Or you can just tweak around until you get something that you like and record it that way. You could record it clean with no sound at all, and then you can, with no distortion or no app or anything at all, and then you can apply the effects after. So then let's see, so then you also have, like, the different effects in here, like uh, delay, and you could assign those to, like, you know, FX2, FX3, and so then the other type of distortion, the VST amp rocks are pretty cool. Click on those, and then, of course, you got to click this stupid little four arrow thing. Took a while for that to pop up. And then you get the uh, shiny amps. And then again, too, once you've got these open, you can change, you know, the gain just by clicking on it with your mouse and you go up or down. Right? Ooh, that's a lot of gain. Right? And then your middle and your treble and your presence. Yes, presence. Anyway, and then you go like. Um, volume and master and all that stuff. And all this can be changed again after it's recorded, during playback, when you're listening to it, or mixing. And then there you go. And so now, again, you've got the presets, little presets. Who do they got in here? Echo Race Drive, Flanger and Chorus Drive, Funky Phaser, Floyd, I would imagine. Pink Floyd, they're talking about the wall. Drive. So these are handy because, you know, you can you know, without too much mucking around, you can have the sound that you're thinking about. And, um, what else about these? Right, again, the, you can also save these. So once you've got one, let's say you got it tweaked the way you want, and you just, where the low presets, you just go save preset and give it a name. Next time you go back to this app, it'll be there. And, uh, I don't know, that's about all that. So I'll go over it again. Double click. Select audio. Guitar plucked. Check one to start. Okay, it opens the track for you. Now, you go down and make sure you've selected the track inspector for that one. And then you select the FX for that. Like I said, I don't know, these should be pre populated. To leave them blank at the start is kind of retarded. So, insert FX, and then there you go. It's got the 4 times 10 California Bass Master. And then you go on there select within there or you can click the double or the four arrow thingy and it'll open up your uh, what do they call it for opening your plug-in window which is your amp and then see so now I've got that for this that for this track right now I go to the other track and I go back here and I pop open and now I got this and I got two of them two different amps Two different sounds, two different tracks, and you could go on and on and on and on and on. Hope that helps, Sean. Bro, you the man. Who the man? No, no. Who the man? Who it the man? The man it you. You it the man.